to her everybody. And the law is the law, and he must be punished for what he's done. But he's come back from Afghanistan with something you can't see. You can't see post-traumatic stress, can you? And it's an injury. You don't have necessarily have to have an arm and a leg missing to be injured. Of course. And, you know, we didn't know anything about it and still don't really, although we're being educated by people now. But he's not getting the help every time Linda and I visit him on a Thursday. He's worse. The prison's doing their best. Yeah. You know, they really are. Things and high down is supposed to be a very, very good prison and we can't fault them. We've got nothing to say bad about them. I think they just manage Harry. They yes. can't treat Harry. They can't treat because him. Because they're not mm. trained or anything. Yes. They look after him when he's having a bad day. Mm. But, but he needs specialist, specialist help. Specialist treatment he needs, Harry he needs. needs specialist help yeah. right now. That's, yeah. that's it. And he's on his suicide watch as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Why isn't he getting this help, Bob? Uh, personally, I don't think the system's actually set up for this, this type of trauma. Um, you, in, in an hour's visit, you can't actually do much apart from build a little bit of rapport with somebody. Yeah. And this is very much what happens within the NHS with the, with the classic forms of therapy. You'll get um, an hour's worth of therapy and then you won't see somebody for another two weeks. Well, that's, that's not really quite adequate enough for, especially for this type of thing. This, this chap actually needs a, a very consolidated course that's probably going to be somewhere in the region of two or four days long to actually deal with the underlying, the underpinning uh, condition and, and the emotions that are setting this off. And we still don't really understand this condition. And it's going to, it's, it's, this, this is going to be huge, isn't it? There's going to be a lot more oh, yeah. soldiers coming home that are going to be in the same situation. So yeah. clearly there's an awful lot of work that has to be done. And I think as well there's a problem sometimes with soldiers asking for help. Yeah, Do you find absolutely. That? There's a whole lot of stigma behind this mm. for a start. And the, and the MOD are uh, running a campaign to reduce the stigma. But at the end of the day, if we're looking at people coming out of the military or people still within the military, the last thing you're going to do is go and see somebody wearing a white coat. Because of Defence Medical Services, you go and see them, you're, you're classed as a malingerer or being lazy. Of or, you know, sort so of it's a whole change of culture. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. What can be done now? Because you know, we see the distress of his family. What, 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 should, what should happen now, in your opinion? Well, they've, they've obviously taken the right step here. and There's a campaign going on in the background, which is Help Harry. Um, and as that, as that gets larger, there should be a petition that's, uh, that, that's written, mm -hmm. that's submitted, um, just to raise the, raise the profile around this. But uh, I think what Harry needs right now is more attention, people going in and actually doing some work with him. Yeah. Um, if, if we look at the prison probation populace, we're looking at about 10, 11% that are veterans ex-military yeah and they're all in there for uh, self-harm harming others uh, drugs and alcohol related offenses well they're all all very very similar um, symptomology as with PTSD so yeah. something's going on there that yeah. needs to be addressed and when you just want to get him to get him well don't you mm. you just want to get him well get him home I need my son back the right yeah. you do. of course you do of course you do Thank you for talking to us. Yes. We really appreciate it. I know how distressing it's been for both of you. And uh, obviously, you know, the, the, the campaign has kicked off. And you must keep in touch with us to, to let us know how that goes. And when you see him on Thursday, let him know that there are a lot of people out there caring for him. We do. Yeah, we we do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very good to talk to you. And thank you to you both as well. Um, we have a statement from the Ministry of Defence. Uh, they won't comment on individual cases, but told us that the mental health of service personnel is a top priority for them, and that they're spending 7.2 million on improving services. They say there's a wide range of help and support already available, and they're committed to reducing the stigma of mental illness to encourage more personnel with problems to speak up. Well, let's see what they do in this case. Yeah. It would be good to hear from them. Thank you very much indeed. Right, it is.